This is my work setup. It is so compact that you can take it anywhere and can have instant access to these big screens. In this video, we will explore the possible future of computing, spatial computing. Before that, I want to say that I really need your support, so please subscribe. I promise to give you really good videos. Thank you. Now first of all, what is spatial computing? This term was popularized by Apple during the launch event of Apple Vision Pro. It is merging the digital world with physical. It knows and interacts with your physical space. So if you place any virtual object in your room, it will stay there and you can interact with it. You can take advantage of your space to perform tasks that you usually perform sitting on a desk looking at a screen. Currently, spatial computing is limited to creating virtual screens in front of you. It really helps you to eliminate all the distractions in your surrounding and just focus on the task that you are doing. A combination of a VR headset and a good noise cancelling headphones can almost eliminate all of your surrounding distractions and detach you from reality. Here I am using the Fluid app available in Quest 3 in which you can completely or partially block your external environment using this brightness setting. You can place these windows anywhere around you and you can increase or decrease their size. There are a bunch of options to customize your workplace. You can select various environments to work in like this cabin. It is a beautiful working environment. I highly recommend connecting your keyboard and mouse to your VR headset to become super productive. If you are living in a noisy neighborhood or a noisy home, then it is the best way to eliminate any audio or visual distractions immediately without going anywhere. I remember when I used to live with my roommates and how I struggled to concentrate on some tasks due to my ADHD and had to go to library to work on my course assignments. I think this setup can be really useful in these type of scenarios. Obviously, there are some disadvantages too. I've been using this setup instead of my laptop for the past two weeks for an average of three hours a day. And honestly, after one hour you start to feel a little uncomfortable due to the weight of this headset. And also the resolution of these virtual screens is not as good as 4K monitor. Overall, I think this technology can have a huge impact on how we do everyday things and can provide completely new experiences. But before that, there are some improvements that need to be made. Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.